Oh, wait. They shout, oh, my God. Oh, wait. And it'll start showing us people following up. You probably won't be able to see the comments as much because I don't have my iPad up here right now, but that's okay. Lee Do you will. you see how many people join? Yep, you'll see this right. Uh, hold on. You'll see it. Uh, we're on. It just takes a second. For everyone to notice. I'm waiting. <coughs> We'll I'm wait stop. for a couple. Lee funny. says we are joining. Sounds okay. Mr. Bibb, see? Now we see. See two people? Oh, okay. Right there? We are good. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hi. Saturday's Cooking with Molly. I have a special guest today. Hi. You know, he's, he's not too many people get in my kitchen. Hi, y'all. Hey, Rose. How are you? Good to see you, Tanya. Not too many people get in my kitchen because I'm in control like that. I'm a control freak. Nothing y'all don't know. But Chad shows up every single week on my show. It doesn't matter if it's Friday night. It doesn't matter if it's cooking. It doesn't matter. But the whole fam came down this weekend, and I wasn't going to do a live cooking show. And Chad said, but I really want yeah. to do one with you. Yes. Yeah. So... We figured out what dessert everybody <laughs> wanted. So we, and you're in luck, because for you gluten-free people out there, you know how I'm always trying to give you something. We got a dessert that we hope that you're going to love. So we are going to fix layered banana pineapple dessert. And I also have an audience today, that is what I have, quiet. that is, you know, trying to like, you know, make me squirrel. So if you hear me squirreling, don't forget, hashtag squirrel. Hashtag squirrel. That's right. Thank yeah. you, Chad. Now, the one thing you have to remember is any of my desserts that you ever make, try to make, good review, bad review. If you post something that I have posted on one of these recipes that I share with you, Take a picture, tag me, and then you will be entered for one of four honey bun or double fudge glazed donut cakes. Ooh, and we're getting ready to lucky. pick the four in the next week or so. So, yeah, so that's going to be exciting. So let's see. We have Darlene on here, and we see Rosemary on here. Um, and most people think, Chad, really, that we ain't going to be on here, except we just announced it today. But yeah. if you're watching the replay, make sure that you hashtag replay. Please share it. Um, even though you may not like it, don't you judge people like that. Somebody may like this dessert. Maybe you don't like pineapple. Maybe you don't like bananas. But some people do. So make sure that you're sharing it, okay? Um, he just tagged Sue Roberts because we know that Sue Roberts, he just tagged her in the thing. So <laughs> Miss Sue going to be on the minute yeah. to say, hey, Tony. That's what's going to happen. Okay, so this is how we're going to start off. Who was that? Oh, wow, I just missed it. Hold on, chat. We're going to try to go back here and see who that was. No, it's not going to let me. Whoever just said hi, hello. How you doing? It was hello. Juanita, I think you said hi. Juanita? Yeah, Juanita. Juanita. Hey, Juanita. Okay, so you're sharing it. Tracy's already yeah. sharing it. So this is what we're going to do. Now, look, I've already um, made a graham cracker crust for the dessert, a regular one. Uh, if you all remember the other pineapple dessert that I did, we did this with two and a half cups of graham cracker crust. And also, what did, what did she say? I think I should smile. We have we have a peanut gallery is what yeah. we have. A Thank live you. audience. But it's okay. Live, it's okay because Very we critical. better. Think about Fresh Prince. Yeah, exactly. We're so much better than Fresh Prince. We're you know what I'm saying? We are. And we were dancing earlier, but Facebook won't let us do that on here. So I'm Facebook squirreling. Am I squirreling? Us. Is that what I, I was talking about? Graham crackers and then bit, I squirreled. A little okay. bit, I think so. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. So the best graham cracker crust there is is two and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. You can crumb them yourself. I already buy them done. It's easier. And then I use a stick of butter, a stick of butter, and melt that, get that all around. Then I bake it in a 300-degree oven for about 8 to 10 minutes according to the heat. So I've done that. Now it's still a little bit warm. Let me see here. Uh, I don't know, Chatty. I think it's... We may be able to do both of them, honey. Okay, so I've done the regular crust. This is the regular crust. It's already cooked. And then what we're doing is we're using a pre-put-together, gluten-free graham cracker crust because this part of the family is gluten-free. We don't want them to miss out on all the good stuff, right? So we've got to make sure. It. Are you going to drop it? Lucky for me, your mom one. got two more. Yeah, I actually cracked one before we started. 
What do you do with them? It's the kids these days, right? You don't know what to do with them. Okay, Chatty. So, Chad, what I'm going to have you do while I'm okay. talking to them, um, and now you can do all of them, but we're going to do three at a time. You are going to slice up three bananas each for each of the desserts. Okay, okay so if you'll start working on that, Chad, I'll talk to them a little bit here. While Chad is doing the bananas, what we're going to do is the first thing we have to do is... That's fine, sweetie. Okay. That's fine. Anything like that is good. We're training him up in the way he should go so when his mama is old, he can cook for her. <laughs> That's what's happening I'm going to be a great chef. Yes. Learn from the best. Th thank you, Chad. I'll give you $5 <laughs> later, okay? All right. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, so we got to do that. Okay. Okay, so we are going, while he's chopping up the bananas, what we're going to do is I'm going to start with the... Um, the cream cheese part in this, and y'all know I love me some cream cheese. Anything with cream cheese in it, it is going to be good. That's right. Don't be afraid. Hey, Janae. Janae's on here. She's on my team. Janae can cook. Oh, she can so cook. We, oh, she is. Ap yes. When we say soul sister, we need soul to soul. Girlfriend yes. can cook. She's always giving me recipes, so it's awesome. Yes. Um, so yeah, so anything with cream cheese is great. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put this camera down on everything we're doing so you can see it and we're going to be talking to you. You know what I should have done? What should we have done? I should have had you get your phone out and you could have been answering the questions, but hopefully Lee's going to keep up with us, okay? Can, because can, you got to cut. Okay. You got to cut. I'm sorry. No, okay, sit down. <laughs> cut. You don't miss it. Okay, it's okay. Okay, so let's see if we can get you down here with what we're doing again. Okay. See Chad over there? He's yes. slicing them nanners up. All right. And so what I'm doing here is I'm taking two eight-ounce things of cream cheese. And, you know, a lot of people have asked me, you know, can we use the, uh, the third fat? Um, you can. Look, you can do this any way you want to. I'm not going to lie. It's always better with the full stuff, okay? When Molly shares a recipe with you, that means that it's probably full fat. Even those, like, healthy bite things I put on yesterday, to me, they have chocolate chips in them, so they're, like, full fat, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. So we are going to start off by, let me move my cup here, and the milk. And we are going to start beating this cream cheese. Going to get this all smoothed out. How those bananas coming, Chatty? Look good. at that. All right. Mac! Mac's on here. Uh. D let's not talk to her. <gasps> Chad, we that's like not McKenzie. nice. Mac, yes, we Just do. Just keeping it real. Just keeping it real. Mac, I'm a, as soon as I'm my sure. hands are free, right in the back I'm of the sure. head, Mac, Shout okay? Out to I'm going to get Glitter. him. Just oh, me. my gosh. Whoever sent the stars, thank you so much. Appreciate the stars. Okay, we are getting this all creamed up. This doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure you don't have any thick little chunks of cream cheese in this. Let's get this off the beaters. There we go. I should have let this soften a little bit more, but as I tell you, I keep it real. I have been busy with the family. We had some um, sausage gravy this morning, it homemade sausage. Out of 10. Thank you, Chatty. I appreciate that. And Three. some homemade fried potatoes and Three. now if you Three can keep time. yes, now if you say. can keep those separated, Chatty, gotcha. we know all this goes in one and then you put the other 3 there. Okay. Yeah, we did. Sausage gravy was great. Had it over some biscuits and English muffins. Oh, I'm going to share pictures later. I got pictures of it all. Okay, what are we going to do next? So we've creamed the cream cheese. Now I have two and a half cups of milk, but what I'm going to do is only put a little bit of this two and a half cups in here. This is just to help that cream cheese get a little bit smooth. So let's Bring this up here again and see if I don't spray the whole world. Chad's going to get upset if I get something on his shirt. Oh, oops. <laughs> Ips. Hold on. I'm also known as hashtag messiest cook out there. I'm hey, proud of that. Thing. I'm proud of as that, Chad. Food's good. Food's good. Food. Who? Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue. Susan. Hold, Hi, Sue. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Sue. Hold on, Sue. We're going to stop. Sue. Here's the Chester. Hi, <laughs> So, Chad, Chatty, Hi. Chad, Chad, yes. Okay, yes. Oh, just show, hold on, hold oh, on. Yes. Show him, back up. Okay. Don't be afraid to take whisks. Definitely. It's a great saying. It's so funny, <laughs> isn't, it? isn't it great? I know, it's so funny. Don't ever be afraid to take whisks. That's right. In the kitchen, yes. <laughs> okay, 
Let's get back to this. Sue, we've been waiting, we've been waiting for yes. you. I'm glad you got on here. Good. Okay, here we go. Let's get back to business. Chad's cutting the nanners. Let's get back to whipping this. This is a little bit weird, wasn't it? Huh? It's okay. It's a little bit weird. We're all right. We're all right. <laughs> We're all right. What would you say, Bib? If you're here, don't forget to say hi. Tell us where you're from. Tell us if it's your first time. Tell me if you've shared it. You never know when I'm just going to come up with a giveaway and just send people some unicorn clusters or or some German chocolate crack or some Reese's peanut butter fudge. How was that, Chad? As one of our winners on one of her Friday Night Lives, it was great. They told me it was fixed, Chad. It was not. They said it was, Chad. They said you did not really win it, that it was because you was family. Nope. I get it anytime I want. <laughs> Yeah, see, he could have it any time he wanted. That's right. All right, so now what we're going to do, now look, the original recipe calls for vanilla instant pudding. What I found out one time when I couldn't find, did you burp? Yes. My niece, Kyla. Kyla Brown. Burp. My niece, Kyla. <laughs> <laughs> we the okay, I know this is crazy. I know this isn't normal. Just roll with it, people. So my niece Kyla just belched like a grown ass man. Okay, what what can I say? I I'm like, but she does it in front of me, especially when she's sitting beside me, so I can smell it. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. But she's beautiful. But she just don't want to be on film today. Okay, so recipe calls for. A six and a half serving of vanilla instant pudding. One time I couldn't find the instant pudding, and what I did is I decided to try banana cream. Once I tried the banana cream once, that's all I wanted. It just really bought out the bananas that are already in there. It, it didn't have such a bland taste. But if you're like, I don't really want it all to taste like banana, that's okay. That's all right. Doesn't have to use vanilla. Or some people use the French vanilla, but we're going to use banana cream because it's my dessert and that's how I roll. I'm going to make it my way. And this is the way the family likes it too. It's not all about yeah. me. Diane all right. says, why would anything be normal in your, house, in your home? Diane who? <laughs> Diane. Yes, here. Diane. Diane's my girl. She show up. She like Chad. She like Chad too. She in New York and she show up every time for me, Chad. She's, 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 been, she's won a lot of my stuff too because oh. she always shows up. She always does it. Definitely. Okay. We're going to put you back down here. Hold on. All the bananas are now cut. Oh. Oh, wow. And do you, okay. Now look, do you see these and do you see how much better you did that? The yes. Now what's that tell you? I'm it more. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Kind of like business, kind of like life, kind of like everything yes. else. You, you always learn trying. in the kitchen. That's yeah. right. Always learn. Okay. So we, get better. so we are going to put the whole thing of the instant. It's a pudding gluten free. Jen, is the pudding gluten yeah. free? Yes, Jen. Jen, okay, Jen, okay, they ask if the, if the pudding mix was gluten free, and my experts here today, and yes, absolutely, it is gluten free, but most of, she said, most of the packaged jellos are gluten free. I'm so glad they said that. Could you imagine all of a sudden I'm fixing dessert for y'all be down here, and the only reason I fix is because you're here? And then they can't eat it, or they spend their time <laughs> sick? That's not what I need in my life. Okay, so yes, yeah, so now we're going to take, we have the cream cheese, we have a little bit of the milk. We, now we're going to put the rest of the milk in, remember two, and look guys, I'm going to put this recipe on, so with all the craziness, don't feel like you got to keep up. I'm going to put the rest of the milk in here. Okay, they're whispering over there, and you know I'm trying to hear them, know. right? You know we what I'm saying? The, we like to eat shop. Huh? Okay, at really low speed, unless you want it all over your kitchen, you are going to start mixing this together, really low speed, and you're going to beat this probably about two minutes. Now, Chad, if you want to yeah. help, Chad, get the um, the gluten-free crust and start taking the bananas. Should be over there, honey. Yeah, get that one first and take one set of the bananas and start putting them on here. Start with a bottom layer, then a layer on top of that, okay? And okay. then you can do the same thing with the other crust. Hey, and for you people who have grandkids, who have kids, and you want to bring them in to help you, 
this is a perfect thing. Not all of them do you want to give a knife, but you could have them do what Chad's doing now, which is place all the bananas in the crust. Like this, and I'll just layer it. Yes, just okay. layer it. There's no special way of doing it. All right, I'm going to raise this up. And as you can see, because of the pudding mixture, this is definitely thickening up automatically. I can smell the bananas. Oh my gosh. Between this, this is going to be really, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So I'm sure your next question, and if you're not, I'll put it in your head, is what are we having for dinner tonight? Well, we are going to fix some um, blue cheese and crushed black pepper hamburgers. Ooh. We're going to make them, and then we're going to fix some regular ones for the ones who don't like cream cheese. I mean cream cheese. Please blue cheese. That. I did wash my hands. Yes, he did wash his hands. hands. And then he used the um, Purell. Purell. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to have some oven fried Old Bay oven fries. Man, Ooh. they're so good. And then we're making my world famous, it was my father-in-law's Dutch salad. Oh my goodness. I know many of you are saying, but Molly, what is that thing you speak of? Dutch salad. It has got a special dressing. It has very, very crispy bacon. And we already know that everything is better with bacon. We know that. That is my mantra. If there is a, me if there is a menu and it tells me that something has bacon in it, let me tell you, I'm on it. I'm Hell on yes. it. What time is dinner? Kelly who? Kelly Wells. Kelly. Oh, Ke Kelly. Ke Kelly's like you. She pick on me all the time. I do. Oh, yes, you, you do. Speak such I don't know Ke yeah, up. you're speaking up. Okay, so put that one away and go do the other okay. one. Okay. All right. All right. Kelly, come on. You know you always got an open invitation. And bring that gorgeous grandbaby of yours. I haven't had a whittle grandbaby That's in a long so time. Yeah, they do. You did a really good job cutting it. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just stirring this a little bit more. I'm trying to keep it loose here. Now what we're going to do, as soon as Chad's done with the bananas, we are going to take this filling, this cream cheese and pudding filling, and we're going to spread this over the bananas. Okay. We're going to put half in. Chad, I'm going to grab this other one while you're doing that. And I'm going to put this right here. All right, and the thing about, the only thing about graham cracker gluten-free is that it tends to break up more, which is why we had to throw one away because of Chad's mishap, but it's okay. We always, it's okay to make mistakes, just know that. That's <laughs> always okay, except when Mama says that costs money and why we got to throw one away. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take half of this, and I'm going to spread this on top, making sure they can see this good. Diane shared. Oh, thank you, Diane, for sharing. Okay, this is what we're doing. Hi, Mama Hi, Norma. Norma is the one here. So we're going to take this and put this here. Wow, that looks good. Lord have mercy. Chad. I, they have, what, what happened? This, this, one, this one looks so good. You're going to need, you know what you're going to need? You're going to need to, no, yeah, you're going to need to chop up another nanner. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move this over a little bit. Okay. Yeah, uh, maybe not. Put those on there. Let's will. see. <sighs> yeah, Chad, I think we need another yeah. banana. Slice up one more banana. Okay. Where the, uh, banana. Right behind you, darling. Okay. Sam? Yeah. Okay. All right. Who is? Rhoda. Rhoda. Rhoda is the best neighbor in the world from down the street who has Murphy and Tucker, my amazing adopted doggies that whenever I get to see them it is just good stuff right there it is a good time love them follow her on Facebook don't y'all do it don't stalk her she's gonna think I sent her a bunch of stalkers stop it okay Miss Rhoda you would like this one this is great again this is the layered banana pineapple dessert no meat Miss Rhoda no meat is good you would love this one Janice said Seems to me you could use any kind of fruit with a French vanilla pudding or even chocolate pudding if you do raspberries or something. 
true. That would be, do you know why Janice Tippett knows so much about that? Why? Because she is my pampered chef lady. Oh, and all these sense. neat gadgets I have and these pans that oh, like I have. Mm, let, let me tell you something. Now, you know the, my hamburger breaker upper? Yes. Did I have that we used this morning? Yes. That's where I got that. Ooh, Everybody really loves nice. that. Yes, I'm always turning people on to her if they don't have a pampered chef. And yes, I think that you could. I think Janice is absolutely right. If you're like, I don't want the pineapple. I don't want this. I agree. So yeah, Chad, get that on there. And we will get this mixture on top of it. And then we're going to sprinkle some pineapple on it. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. This is why we need music. Yes. We should do this on we Instagram. Should. I'm yes. just saying we should. Okay. Okay. All right. We're good. So now we're going to take this. And we are going to finish this off on here. Tracy asked, "Where did you get your apron from?" Oh, uh, which one? Um, she said, "I think she said Milky." So I think she meant you. Okay. Um. Okay. I will put the link up for the apron. Um. And Chad will tell. Oh, is it Tracy? Yeah. Tracy, I'll put the link up on my on my page. Okay. What'd you say, Lee? The apron, Lee. I can't hear Lee. Lee keeps his headphones on because he's six seconds behind us. Because he's listening, mm -hmm. that's what Mine, happens. Video is short, but I will put the link up for it. And they're not expensive, Tracy. That's what's really great. They're not expensive. I love aprons. I'm trying now to get different ones because of the... Okay, thank you. So much fun when they're six seconds behind. I'm like, I, I squirrel instantly. I'm like, what? Okay, we already got that. Thank you very much. We are good. Thank you. the best in my opinion. Thank you very much. I like it. Yeah. Oh, I guess I didn't really show everybody. Oh, Y'all see mine? Look, they can rooster. see it. Look. How you like that? Look, doesn't that look bug-eyed like me on coffee, <laughs> on steroids or something? Look at the hair. It's got hair like me. It's all over the place. I should name it Molly. That's what should happen. Okay, so we've got both of these ready, you guys. You can see both of them. Now, let me grab the crushed. Yes, that would be right. See, they got it. They got yeah, it down. So the next thing we're doing um, is we're going to do 20 ounces of crushed pineapple. Now, let me make this clear. Um, this is normally a 13 by 9 dish, but because I was doing half gluten-free and half regular, I just put it in two separate dishes. If you have people who have dietary needs like that, you can do the same thing. But in essence, you could really put this just in a 13 by 9 glass dish or or any dish that you want to and make this work. Okay, so I drained the crushed pineapple really, really good. You can see the crushed pineapple here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take bits and pieces of this and we're gonna put this on top. And it really is good. The reason I'm making this now too is because we want this to sit for a few hours because the juices will kind of drain into this. Thanks, Chad. Mm -hmm. Chad wants to lick the spoon. I know what he wants to I do. Know. I, know, I understand. Me too. When they're not looking, Chad, I but look the spoon when they're not looking. Like, well, Chad, if you weigh up here, Chad, they don't know. know. They don't know what you're doing. That's what's good. People say, we want to see your face the whole time. Mm -mm. You don't know how many times I'm licking the spoon. That's exactly right. Okay, so you'll see here, we're just putting this all over. All right something you know it almost makes you feel like it's like summertime you think yes. of bananas pineapples um pina coladas margaritas mm -hmm. so i'm fixing strawberry daiquiris this weekend yes. too thank you very much <laughs> we doing nice. a little bit yes indeed um Great. are you ready for summer i am ready for but you know down here though chad i mean i know today is kind of like it's summer. always nice it's it really is down here i love it Cool, no okay, so the next thing we're going to do is this requires a large Cool Whip um, or any type of, you know, dessert topping. Maybe you get the store brown. I'm not going to judge you. I just like Cool Whip. So we're going to take this and we are going to spread this on top. I can remember the days when Kyla, when she, she loved, loved Cool, cool Whip so much mm -hmm. that, and there were, I would always make sure there was a container that was there, and she would say, are you using that? And I'd be like, no, here's a spoon. <laughs> Go ahead. It's so cool. You know, she just 
She don't do that. She don't do that no more. Okay, she don't do it no more. (laughs) She grew up on me, maybe, but she grew up on me. It seems. All right, so we are going to take this and we're going to pretty this on up here. Kind of like if I didn't pick on her, she could. Molly, I don't understand. You don't even talk to me. You're not picking on me the way you do. No, they saw you. So hey, let me tell you something. You can burp with the best of the George gr- women. I'm just telling you, it's okay. It's all right. Is that true? Connor, if you're out there, Connor, hi. Connor, we got her. She burped. It's good, Connor. I'm, sure I'm a tagger. Sure I'm a tagger. I'm, I'm a tagger. We're going to do it. Don't listen to her. Don't upset her. She's here for a few more days. I know. Okay, guys, you see, look here. We are floofing this down, floofing. We don't fluff it, we floof it. We floof it. We floof it. Floof it, floof it, floof it, floof it. Okay, Chad, we're having way too much yeah, fun for a cooking thing. Fun. But you know what? This is how it should be. I tell people, stop kicking your kids out of the kitchen. Man, I loved it when Anthony and Earl showed an interest. And Anthony really showed a big interest. And you see him now, like, he'll send me Snapchats of him <laughs> on the grill and, like, doing stir fry on the grill. And and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm a little responsible for that. Love bringing them in. Don't bring them in if you're trying to grill a steak. Okay, nobody wants to do that. <laughs> it's so but desserts, fun. yeah, it is. It's just fun to watch and be able to cut. Well, I agree. Now, I, gotta, I will tell you what I do wish I had done. I wish I had taken a little bit of the graham cracker crust and saved it out so we could have sprinkled it on there. It would have made a really pretty presentation, too. For for that, if we took another bowl, will we be able to crumble it up? We could. And if they want to do that, I think that's great. But but I love this. Just make it look look pretty. Make it look fluffy. You know, look at that. You know, don't don't do this. (laughs) Perfection. You don't need perfection about that. to cook. This is people say, how do you get the little wavy things? This is how you get the little wavy things. See this? You just put something flat down on it and you lift it up. Before you know it, it looked like that thing you picked up at the store that you just know you can't do. Look at that. Look at that. It looked like my hair, Chad. It looked like my hair. Look at it sticking up. Okay. He says my Anthony used to love cooking with me until he realized video games was more fun. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened with my oldest, Tracy. You see these two tablespoons right here? Yes. I'm saving this for my Kyla oh, because yeah. inside yeah. her She's there is ready. an inner child somewhere inside of her. So I'm not. She, Kyla, that's not hurt my it. feelings. Kyla don't want to do it no more. Okay, so you want to take this. It is, ugh, hold on, let me clean my hands here. Let me take my gloves off. Yeah, I don't need my gloves now. Thank you, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, it's a quick one. I get it. It's a quick one, but this was good. This was good. It's fun. I love the fact that Chad doesn't know a lot about cooking, mm-hmm. but he's learning. Yes. He's learning. And let me tell you something about his mom. His mom could not cook. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I, I'm redempting myself. When, when mom first came into the band, let me tell you something. I was not sure. <laughs> She's getting but so was mad gonna at me. <laughs> there was a time when she would like serve my son's almost raw bacon. I remember that moment and they, they really told me. But let me, let me tell you what's great about, 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 you all can't call her fur. Her name is Jennifer. I'm only one allowed to call her fur, okay? But. You know what happened? She didn't give up on cooking. She kept cooking. And let it me tell you fight. something. It was a fight. She put something on, and my first thought when she shared a picture is I go, did my fur make that? Or is she showing another Shocking. picture? And then she'll send it to me, and I'm like, was that good? And she said, let me tell you something. It's I get crazy. recipes from her now. She fixed me. She, I love cabbage. And she fixed this cabbage dish in the, in the crock pot. With, I love cabbage. I Don't like you judge cabbage. me. <laughs> and the fried cabbage. Jen, did you ever fix that fried, cha- fried cabbage? She she's mad at me. Kill you. I, I'm a, she ain't getting no blue cheeseburgers tonight because she's going to kick Molly. my tail. Oh, my gosh, she's going to kick my tail. <laughs> Anyways, my message is, let's get back to the message, <laughs> squirrel. My message is, don't ever give up trying. And even if mama didn't have you in the kitchen, Get in the kitchen and try. This is what cooking with Molly is all about. It's about having fun. It's about realizing you can too. Um, If I'm fixing it, it's easy. 
because I don't do no hard stuff. I don't do stuff you can't tell what it is when you look at it because that's scary. Don't want to do that. But bring your kids in. Get them off the video games. Get them out from in front of the TV. Have some time with them and, and cook. And then you can eat what you cook together. And then you'll turn out to be a fabulous cook like Chad's mom. Because you know what? <laughs> This is what happens, you know? And hey, this is a lot better right. than watching TV. I'm scared, I'm scared to get off the live stream. I know, let's not, let's just I keep talking. She, squirrel! She's squirrel. going <laughs> she's gonna to be chasing me around. Look at her. Yeah. See, see? And she just yeah. said, Chad, you're helping me now. I know. That's right. That's, you do need to help your mom. I know. Help your mom a lot. She works hard. She you're makes sure make you up have for everything you need. her cooking. I am. <laughs> I am. I'm trying to make up for it. Okay, we're good. So I, I hope that you will try this. Mm -hmm. And again, if you snap a picture of it and you tag me, you'll be entered for the honey bun cakes and the double fudge donut cakes. Um, all three of my boys whoop it up on the kitchen table. What? Kelly? Mm. Kelly. If somebody else reads that, Kelly, I know where they're taking it, okay? Kelly. You might want to edit that. <laughs> just saying. But I know what you meant, Kelly. It's good. Um, Are we going to show them what it looks like? Sure. Well, I thought they saw it when it was pointed down. Oh. Okay, so this would be done. this would be the non-gluten free. Kelly's laughing at me because she knows <laughs> this would be the gluten free. And you see, look, look at the make it easy. Maybe you don't want to make the crust. Maybe you feel like it never ends up. So just go get a Keebler crust and make your own. And I'll tell you where else this would be good. You know how they make the Oreo, the Oreo cookie crust. Oh mm, my that's goodness! My favorite. If yeah. we had this and we had it on an Oreo crust. Wow, that would probably be really great, oh, too. Gosh, so think awesome. about that. Mix what people like. Give it a chocolate crust. Then you've got some fruit in there. I mean, little chocolate syrup. Little chocolate My sister-in-law just said put a little chocolate syrup on the top. Hey, and look, and like Jana said, if you put strawberries in it, it becomes a banana split dessert. That sounds Really good. Okay, we're gonna have to make that next time. Yeah, that's what so we're like, gonna have also, to show how. Also, pineapple, if you add different crusts, you can add different fruits, like blueberries, whatever you like. Isn't that what Janice said? Probably. Are you robbing her of that? Oh, sorry, Janice, Janice, he's Shout trying to, to take it. He's trying Shout to take to it, Janice. <laughs> trying to take it from you, girl. Yes, you can. You absolutely can. With anything, you're right. It could be blueberries, strawberries. I'm not a raspberry fan, sure. but but some people love raspberries. You could do that. Um, if you were. A, think about this. In the summertime, a mandarin orange. Some people like Ooh. mandarin oranges in the can. You could use that and the bananas or the pineapples. This could really be a base. And if you use the vanilla pudding, yeah, like Janice said, it could oh, be anything. It could be anything. Sue says toasted coconut. Janice says take it. You go, Chad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't try to rob him of me. He's mine, Janice. Stop it right now. You just stop it. Okay, guys, so this is what we have for you. I'm not wasting any more of this, and you're not a waste. That that did not come out right. I'm so sorry. My my family's getting to me again. <laughs> I don't get to see them a lot, so I'm going to go spend some time with them. We're going to eat. I'm going to be sharing what we're eating. You go, you go, drool. Oh wait a minute, Tracy said Dole fruit cups. Ooh, that sounds really good. Make separate cups. What if it was for a kid? You wanted to get the little Dixie cup thingies, and you want to make them separate. For when Just school? sprinkle it in there. School yeah, absolutely. So, okay, so do you see the feel here? This is what it's about. You are trying to take a recipe. This isn't about making it just like Molly. This is about what can you do with it that's good for you. That's the good thing. What would make your family happy? What do you know that your kids will eat or not eat? And if you want to get in good with that husband, that person in your life, your significant <laughs> other, make something like this. Show them how you slaved in the stove over it. <laughs> and, you know, and, and treat, them, treat them like the special person they are. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're making next week. I just, I haven't even thought about it. Yeah, um, sausage gravy. I think everyone Yeah, but I, can, I, I know, but I can't have any more of that. Why not? You can't eat sausage gravy all the time. I mean, I would. Okay. okay. Well, we're sending them home with the recipe, and they're oh, going to fix you, it Deborah. there. So love you guys. This was the best cooking yes. live. Love it. Thank you, Deborah. That is Chad. I'm going to give this all to Chad and the crazy-looking yes. rooster. Oh, and I like, one thing I have to say about I like the pockets. Like the pockets? Yes, you're, truly, you're truly a chef. You know Thank that, you, right? Yes. In your heart. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in your hand yet, <laughs> but you are truly a chef yes. in your heart, okay? Love you guys. We'll see you next Saturday. Yes. Don't know what we're cooking, but be here with Cooking with Molly. Talk yes. to you later. Bye-bye.